the next thing we're going to do is use this text box. And this text box is a, an incredibly powerful thing. Um, and we're going to use it to embed site-wide video. We'll do some text, some images, and we're even going to use it for uh, a slider here. So th this text box is actually a box that sits on top of the sidebar. And if you come over here to this content options, that is this right here, sidebar text box. Now, we can choose, first off, over here under sidebar, we could choose simply not to show it. All right, turn off the text box, say OK. You're not going to have a link to it here, and it's not going to show up in the sidebar anymore if you do that. All right, text box is gone now. But we don't really want the text box to be gone. I, I really want to use this text box because it's actually quite powerful. And in that text box, you can put any kind of HTML you want. So, for example, you know, you can just come in here and say, here is some random text. And if I don't disable P tags, it's going to be wrapped in HTML paragraph tags, and it's going to show up in the sidebar just like that. And so something that's worth noting here is that any kind of HTML can go in this. Right? If you've got a little snippet of JavaScript that you want to put in there that does something, if um, if you've got a whole bunch of Java, uh, I mean a whole bunch of HTML you want to put in there, it doesn't matter. Any kind of HTML can go in this thing, and as you're going to see in a minute, you know we're going to use it to add an image. But one of the totally cool things it can do is you can use it to embed videos. So we're going to come over here to Vimeo. And I'm actually going to use a friend of mine's video, which I think is well well worth watching. Again, I didn't get his permission, but I'm still going to do it. And I'm um, not going to be there for very long. And so I clicked Embed for his video, and now I've got this Embed Options here. And I'm going to set up my Embed Options. Oh, great. He's already gone in here and changed this. <laughs> okay, Tom, I'm going to I'm going to change your settings on this so that I can actually embed it, and then I'll change them back. Sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm actually just going to add my domain to it. So thesis2demo.com will be the domain that it can be added to. And feel free to throw this away after this class if you wish. So anyway, I'm just if you've watched my videos on setting up a Vimeo account, you know I like this Vimeo Plus because it does restrict where things, where videos can be displayed. And I've just given myself permission to display Tom's video. Anyway, we come back over here to um, embed. And um, let's see, get the embed code. And of course, now I've just messed the whole silly thing up. Go to the share button and um, show those options. I used to know how to do all this kind of stuff, but now I let employees handle it for me. Um, I'm I because the the thing is 300 pixels wide. That's how wide I want the image the, the video to be displayed. And I took the liberty of adding my blue color here to the label. Um, I'm turning off the text link, so all it's going to show is just this. And then I'm going to come up here and grab this embed code. Grab that embed code, come back over to my text box, 
paste that embed code, disable the automatic p tags because I don't need this wrapped in a paragraph tag, and save the options. And refresh our page. And all of a sudden, this very useful video is now available for playing on the site. And um, I'm taking up a lot of my own bandwidth here, obviously. But if we refresh this in the Responsinator, you can see it works perfectly, right? It just goes in there to fill the space up. Fits nicely in that video. It's perfect. So you can um, uh, you can put any HTML that you want inside of this text box. And an iframe, of course, is HTML. Uh, somebody asked whether or not you can put PHP in there. And the answer is no. Uh, PHP is not HTML, so it will not parse the PHP. However, you will be able to put short codes in, as I will show you here in a moment. Um, the next thing, though, before I put in short codes, what I'm going to do is, is show you how to put an image in. Now, th this is assuming that you don't already know how to write your own HTML, and, and many folks don't know how to write HTML, but as luck would have it, WordPress actually gives you the ability to write HTML in the visual editor without actually having it to know any. And uh, the way I recommend people do that is to create themselves a sandbox page. Now, somehow my sandbox page got published. I like to keep the sandbox page to private. And that way you don't see it. But, you know, I could, um, I could take all this nicely formatted text right well actually let's just come over here and do it I could take that nicely formatted text and place it whoops place it in the text box All right and It'll look like that. Or what I can do is insert an image. Now, the way I'm going to do that, actually, I'm just going to start off by deleting everything here. And then I'm going to say add media. And the image I'm going to add is this one right here. Although I don't want the big version, I want a smaller version of that image so what oh that's right what I'm gonna do is just pick a smaller version from over here the medium version 300 by 175 of that version and I'm gonna add alt text visit us locally in admins I'm going to put that inside the title as well, although it doesn't really matter there. I'm going to go ahead and link it to nothing. Um, attachment or alignment is going to be none. Uh, link to none, medium size, inserted into the page. And now that I've got it inserted, now that I've got this, right, you can see the images here but it creates all this HTML. I'm just going to copy that HTML. Come over. Paste it. Save it. Refresh it. And there you have it. You know, the image automatically gets ins inserted into this. Now, the last thing I want to demonstrate with this is using a short code. Okay, I have uh, the Meteor Slideshow 
um, setup. And th it has these slides uh, in the Meteor slideshow. Now, if you look at the settings, you'll see that they give you this short code for inserting the slideshow. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the short code for that slideshow. And then come back over here. And instead of this, I'm going to paste the uh, short code. And refresh it. And now the slideshow is going to play. Give it just a second here. You can see now it's transitioning from slide to slide based on that um, uh, based on that short code. Now, um, something you may not have observed because I jumped through it very quickly was that the slides are act these slides are actually 600 by 300 or something like that. How big are they? 600 by 350. That's how big the slides are. And all the slides are that size. But you can see that because of uh, Thesis' responsive ability, this was scaled down. And if we take a look at it over here in the Responsinator, again, we have the nicely scaled size that fits inside of the mobile device. So um, this is one of the one of those examples of the scaling that happens because of its responsive abilities. Okay, so we're going to leave the slider on there just for grins for the time being. It's totally cool what it can do. And um, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to go back over here to pages. We're going to swap that slider out back for the um, back for the image. Go back to add the media, media library, this one, none, none, medium, insert into the page, grab the HTML, paste it, save it, and refresh it. That's the text box. Text box is a totally cool tool, and you can do all kinds of different things with your text box, including not using it at all and simply hiding it all together.